I think it's on. It's on. Okay. So, what we were looking at was um, essentially the machete defenses. So, here, right? Here. And then we started looking at um, different ways that we could enter in using this. And then if he comes back and I've missed, the Sugita is a good thing to add in. Or, if he comes in with the backhand, we're working here, coming to the roof in one. Um, and of course, if we've come here, and he evades that, but he comes in with the one, then the Sagita as my follow-up, um, or my backup plan. So, um, another thing that we've been working on is, as I come in here, he's going to pull back in Redondo. So, here, and Redondo. So, so actually, you do it to me, so I can show it. He comes in here, I'm going to pull him back in Redondo, so it's all out work. If I'm on this side, when he comes in, I'm going to pull back my hand in Redondo. Right? So, just boom, here. So, I come. So, if he comes here, I can leave. So, if Paul does it now, right? So, he pulls his hand back, boom, and he Redondos. And then, the overall goal of the whole lesson was to be able to tell the difference from when I was going to his hands and when I'm going to his body. Because he's going to play the redondo game here against the hand, the hand, and, you know, boom. And he could go after my hand, my head, my whatever, so long as he makes me pay for every time I do that. And then if he notices, boom, 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 and then he follows up, follows up, follows up. Now, of course, this leads into forearm range. Because if, if I've got him at, re at range, he's reacting well at range, He's reacting well at range. He feels the moment where he can come in. I blocked, right? Now he's going to go into far range. And he's going to use his SSBD. Yes, he uses it. Okay, good, good, good. All right? So that's the main stay of what we're doing today, and I'm recording it because I want to do it in Viter's prep.